Hey guys, it's Paige Poppy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how I set up a new watercolor palette recently and what it looks like. So these are the paints I used. They are a 24 watercolor set from Royal and Langnickel. My mom actually picked these up for me at TJ Maxx for eight bucks. So I wasn't sure what the quality would be like, but I'm happy to report they're actually not too bad. These are tube watercolors, so they come out in liquid form. And the whole point of setting them up in a palette is squeezing them out, letting them dry, and then you can activate them with water whenever you want. So this is the palette I used. It was very affordable, $6.95 by Art Alternatives. I linked a very similar affordable one down below. It has 28 pans for watercolors, which is perfect because I only had 24 colors, so there was a little bit room to grow. And you can fold it up. It's super portable. You can stick it in your toolbox, and I just love it. It wasn't until I made this palette that I used more than three shades of watercolor. I usually only use a red, a yellow, and a blue, but I will say I enjoy having the versatile amount of colors. And today I'm gonna show you each color and how I set up my palette, so it should be fun. And I also think that rainbow organized things are quite mesmerizing to watch. So yeah, I'll go ahead and let this play.
So those are all 24 of my Royal and Langnickel paints all squeezed out into the palette. And like I said, this palette had 28 slots, so there was room to add a few more colors. I added my Winsor Newton Blue. Winsor Newton is an amazing high quality watercolor brand, so I wanted to add that in there and have it available to use. And I also added Holbein's Indian Yellow. I picked this up on sale. It's also a really high quality watercolor and I will probably buy a high quality red to add for this little trio as well. And that is my palette, all 26 shades ready to go. I love it. Like I said, I've been using it to create paintings like this one and the quality isn't 100% amazing, but it's very usable. This palette is really cool too. It has this finger hold, so it's very portable, very versatile. And that has been my entire palette preparation video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have not already, please subscribe to my channel, join the creative club. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye. They're really fun and I think people just appreciate like local art like not like a local artist but i mean people love local artists too but they also like art that kind of represents where they're from or where they live so i think that's what the appeal is and a couple people got these as gifts so that's really nice i always think it's so cool when people buy my artwork as gifts